What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic, and today we're doing something pretty cool where we're actually going to be making some art with some really terrible AI cars. Now, the inspiration for this build actually came from the Factory Town devs, and they posted this sort of clip here, and it shows your morning moment of zen by Evenstone, and I guess a player made this sort of minecart loop where every minecart is moving around on the same track, and none of them are ever intercepting each other, so that's really kind of awesome. And then we've got the uh, Voxel Tycoon devs, they replied to this, and it kind of started this whole train of game devs, and of course we've got the Satisfactory devs here with their version of that conveyor loop as well. And then of course we've got the Real Welders devs as well, and uh, I'm not sure if they actually did get the rules straight at the... the um, there's a... Um, a little bit of a traffic problem. So seeing as how a lot of different game devs have gotten on board with this city grid challenge thing, I decided to help out Axolot, who are the developers of Scrap Mechanic, and make my own terrible city AI thing. So we've got some really basic AI cars here. We've got eight of them total in eight different colors, and we do have the mod pack, but the cars themselves do not use the mod pack for anything other than this remote control block. And the idea being, if we hook a switch into this block, we can turn on and off every single car all at the same time. So first, we're going to try this with one car and just show you guys how this car works. They're very, very simple cars. Uh, they don't use a lot of stuff. Again, completely done in vanilla and really, really basic. And this is sort of the uh, the setup that they're all running. And then, of course, we've got them all painted different colors. So they are very, very simple. Uh, we can just activate them with a switch going into that middle block there. And we'll just put a seat on the top because we don't actually have... Uh, room for a seat and really simply i mean it should just read the yellow line with some color sensors and then of course these other color sensors reading this gray and uh you know it should should follow pretty quickly it uh, does use tank drive system so it's front wheel drive only with the electric motors and the front wheels are just on a double bearing setup so it just kind of uses a tank drive to drag the front end around the loop and hopefully uh, i mean it works great on the straights on the corners you can see it's 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 definitely a tank uh not so much a car but hopefully this works and we can have eight of them at the same time. I honestly haven't tested with eight. I have no idea how it's going to go. Uh, I've tested one just a little bit. You can see it's uh, it's struggling to straighten out here. I'm not sure if I changed some stuff between this test and the actual one or not. But, oh, there we go. No, perfect. Okay, back on the back on the line there. I'm not really... I don't think we're going to have a lot of success with this, to be perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, this is this is already this is already a bit of a problem. I did test originally some four-wheel drive versions. Uh, they drove very much like a tank. Didn't work out as well. Uh, the front-wheel drive seems to just be a little bit more controlled. The other thing too with a front-wheel drive car is it doesn't wheelie when it starts. If you have these are electric powered, right? So when you have an electric motor uh, and uh, four-wheel drive car, it kind of does this like aggressive wheelie at the beginning. This is this is perfect. All right, you know what? I think the only thing we could do now we just got to put all eight on it. Let's just position. One car uh, this direction, going that way. And we'll put another car over there going that way on each of these loops, and hopefully it'll work. So this one, if that one goes that way, then this one's also got to go in the same direction, right? Just like that, perfect. And then we'll put the yellow one over on this loop. I'm not expecting much out of this, to be honest. If they could actually do a half a rotation, I'd be impressed. I feel like one car at least is going to screw up in the first 10 seconds i like i'm just expecting that to happen it's scrap mechanic uh but you know we're going to make some ai art today and it's going to be beautiful and these are the dumbest possible cars they also like they have nothing to sense each other if one car runs into another that's that's just it that's what's going to happen the biggest problem i think with this whole scenario uh is just the fact that every single one of these cars has to pretty much move at the same speed in order for them not to hit each other um that yellow one like it has to go the white one's gonna go, the orange one, like, everything has to move at the same speed. But I think our saving grace will be really simple. We'll try it with them all set to the speed they're at now. I don't expect much. We can actually slow all of them down a little bit more if we have to, and uh, and then that way they'll go super, super slow, and uh, hopefully that'll make them a little bit more responsive as they are terrible. Here we go. This is a great view here. Nice, perfect shot to get the uh, AI art. So... I mean, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it, and we're just gonna hope that something doesn't explode, like the whole game lags or something. So here we go in three, two, one. Scrap mechanic art. Oh boy. Okay. Oh oh god. The orange one is gonna hit the purple one, like literally dead on. Like they're and the brown and the yellow are gonna hit. I put those in the wrong spot. The red one's already dead. So I said within ten seconds. Oh 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 boy. This is not. Okay. The brown and the yellow. They're kind of. They're, they're just going together now. It's fine. The purple is getting shoved. Purple's going the wrong way. Purple's stuck. Well, someone else is going to come along and hit purple. The green and the white. So I put them in the wrong spot. I The brown and yellow and purple and orange were going to hit no matter what. 
Uh, now we got three of them in the one loop. Oh, yellow's stuck. Brown might give it a nudge. It, not in a... Oh, yeah. No, that worked. It actually worked. Here we go. Brown and yellow are just helping each other out. This is great. Maybe green will nudge purple red here. Um, bottom right corner. No. Is it... Oh, it pushed red off the track. Oh, well, at least it's out of the way now. This is perfect. This is scrap mechanic in a nutshell. I, I feel like this is great. I just need to make a, a little uh, quick clip out of this. Oh, brown just nudged yellow off the track and then jammed himself into the wall. Okay. Um, is green going to help purple is the question. White might help the brown situation here. Just hold on a second. Here comes white. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Fixed brown. Green's still going strong. No, no, white just, just did not fix. No, no, yeah, no, he just took him out. All right, this is like an elimination challenge. A blue's stuck again on the corner. Um, green, I think, has almost done a full lap. Am I wrong about this? I haven't really been tracking green the whole time, but I feel like the green, oh, as I said that, I just went into the curb, and blue and orange are both stuck. White's the last man standing. Uh, nudges green, does not help the situation, and then, okay. Okay, this is wonderful. Well, that was a learning experience. Attempt number two. Hopefully, we don't get a, a death in the first 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, it looks great. When they're all initially driving, it looks fantastic. Red is already screwed up. Red, I might have put it red in a bad spot. I might have started it too close to the corner there. It didn't get a chance to... Maybe purple will help out red. Oh, blue and yellow going straight for the collision again. Yeah, no, blue just blue just got wrecked. Oh, no, no, never mind. It's good. They, they fixed it. White stuck again. Purple, no. Red, no. What are you doing? Oh, boy. Okay. They don't really help each other. They just kind of shove each other off the thing. Purple's actually doing good. Orange stuck on the curb again. Orange, they see the other. We might need to make the lines. Maybe the yellow lines are too close together. It seems like they're intersecting. Again, I haven't tested this much. This was, I, I kind of built this and didn't really do a whole lot of testing, but... Uh, Orange, can you... I, I, yeah, no, white got... White just got booted. Okay, orange orange is there. Okay, yellow and... What do you guys... Oh, my goodness. No, okay. This is... This is not... This is not going out well. What? Oh, green stuck again. I don't think anybody does a complete lap. You know what? We're gonna... We'll just reset this. Blue's already dead. They're clearly having problems with these corners for some reason. All right, so we're gonna turn this all off. We're gonna reset it. We're gonna paint the intersections bigger we're gonna move the black a little bit into the yellow lines here so there's more of a gap i think as they're coming through here they pick up this yellow line and then they turn into the curb and i think that's a problem so let's just back this up a little bit and uh that way we'll make sure that we have enough did i actually i think that needs to go one more there we go all right so we're gonna do another attempt here we've got the intersections with more of a gap in them you know what let's just let's just make even more of a gap in the intersections let's just really let's go for broke let's completely line it up so that the intersection is just open and flush with the gray wall. That way there's no way you can accidentally run into it. And then we've also got a better configuration here. You can see I've got all the cars laid out in two lines of four. That way there should be no collisions initially. And uh, hopefully we'll get a better result. I mean, I guess you could make it with like slot cars and have everything move along in slots. That would probably be a little bit easier. I guess we, we could have done it with a slot car system. But, you know, I feel like... The, uh, the sensor cars following the line is really just appropriate for, uh, for Scrap Mechanic mod list. So here we go. And in three, two, one. There we go. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. Two lines. Everything's clean. Uh, okay, green car, don't screw up. Just go, go line up straight. Straighten out, green car. Oh my god. No, 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 green. No, where are you going? Green, green right into the curb. Right. First car eliminated, green. And white's gonna hit green. Maybe pit maneuver it. This might actually work. Uh, orange is stuck. Red not helping the situation at all. Red sending orange backwards now down the course. Maybe is this gonna is this gonna turn orange around? N no. White is getting. <laughs> oh my God, these cars are so bad. Uh, they're so good. They're they're these are like mini cubes, but if they were cars and could drive, this is literally how the mini cubes drive. As you can see, a uh, very good line followers. Um, but like I said, th there was no real. There's no real intent on making one <laughs> green and purple. Uh, blue, you know, blue's gonna fix the problem, though. Brown's gonna clear up yellow. Orange is, orange is struggling. Orange is, white's stuck. Like, white's done. There's no way white's getting out of there. Green and purple is still stuck. Uh, orange has finally decided to stop. Uh, red, red maybe gonna fix brown. I'm not, 
I'm not exactly sure here. Here comes blue. Blue T-bones purple. Uh, oh, oh, blue just blue turned a two person accident. Oh, blue released green. Actually, oh, and purple. Look at this. Look at this. What a recovery. Yellow screwed green back over and brown, but like purple and blue uh, and purple screwed himself. Uh, okay. Blue, hold on. Blue's gonna fix the orange situation. This is intense. This is this is intense right here. And yeah, that didn't that didn't that's not how you fix that situation. Yellow and purple going for it. Now purple hit the curb. You know what? These AI actually suck. All right, so for this last attempt here, I've slowed the engines down even further on all these cars. So they should move really, really slow. A lot of the problems with the stupid AI is that when you have only a single sensor, the sensor's either on or off, and you don't really have much of a distinction. So with these cars, they're basically programmed in such a way where they're like, okay, if I see the yellow line, I turn away from it, or if I see the gray concrete, I turn away from it. But as a result, uh, they kind of suck. So we could do this a lot better or in true reality, we could just slow everything down and make it that much, uh, hopefully more responsive and hopefully it won't drive off the L lines here. We might have to speed up this footage a little bit here. So I'm going to try and not move the camera too much, but hopefully we can get some crazy good uh, rotations here. If not, at least, you know, we know that uh, scrap mechanic AI art is 100% possible. So here we go in three, two, one, go. All right, they are, they are painful. But, like, they should take these corners, no problem. And we we'll might just have to speed up the footage a lot here. I'm also realizing about 10 seconds into this that I have the pattern wrong. We're going to just reposition these to hopefully get a little bit better of a pattern rather than four of them just following each other. And uh, at the painfully slow speed, they seem to follow the lines a lot better and not actually go all over the place. So we should be able to get maybe a little bit more consistency between the cars so each car will actually complete each section at uh, a similar speed all right i think i've finally done them the right way this time the problem was i was mirroring the pattern and i shouldn't have been doing that it's got to be you know like a mirror but in four different quadrants so here we go final attempt hopefully let's get this great video clip perfect everything's moving nice and slow and now we'll speed up the footage and hopefully not have any cars smash into each other So you can see I've actually stopped it here and you'll notice that the orange car is actually falling a little bit out of sync. So the cars are all set at the exact same speed, but uh, obviously we can actually see the blue and the brown and the purple are kind of almost at their intersections. The blue and purple just entering. The brown is the furthest ahead, but the orange car is falling a little bit behind. And I'm sure if we let this run for a little bit longer, we might eventually see them hit each other. But definitely at the slower speed, we can for sure get that awesome art effect and get this sort of zen AI thing with all these cars moving around in a circle. I absolutely love it. I think it's awesome, and I'm definitely going to do a few more really stupid, simple AI projects. You can't make AI that are too complicated for these things, because obviously we have all eight of them interacting with each other, and we want to make sure that there isn't a lot of lag in this sort of world. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love this sort of build. I think these little AI things are great, and I just saw that tweet, and I'm like, you know what? Someone's got to do this for Scrap Mechanic, just because it's absolutely awesome to have all these little cars moving around. So we'll let this run a little bit more, but of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What other cool little builds would you like to see? I love simple AI projects. I think they're really, really fun. Obviously, we could make these cars much better and much faster and better line followers, or we could just make them slot cars if we wanted them to go really, really fast. But I mean, you know, what's the fun in that? Gotta use those vanilla sensors and really have a great time. I'd also like to point out the white, green, yellow, and red cars are almost pretty much in sync. You can see all four of them went through that center section almost at the same time. Uh, it's this orange car that's really, really out of sync. And again, it depends on how many corrections the cars have had to make to keep themselves on those lines. But of course, the fact that they are just driving around in this little track is absolutely awesome. And, uh, you know, making some 
great looking artwork. But of course, let me know what you guys think of this build and give me suggestions for any other builds you'd like to see. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time. Orange is cutting it closer every time.